The times that I've had the pleasure of seeing Beluga, it just really feels like a gift. Just the slow, the slow, beautiful roll. It's just like so peaceful to watch. It's really amazing. Seeing and being around and hearing and experiencing beluga whales is, is probably one of the top things that really connects you to this place. Just seeing such a huge, majestic animal in a river like this, I don't think that many people can say that they've you know, seen something like that. For people that have never seen uh, beluga in the wild, probably have no clue how important the uh, belugas are to us. Cookinlet is a complex web of life, and it's made up of many threads. And if you start pulling out big threads, like the beluga whale, the whole thing's gonna unravel. Well, anything that's done requires a bit of con uh, consideration now for how is it going to affect the belugas. We're worried about outside influences that are coming in or threatening to come in that, that could really wreak havoc to what they need in order to stay healthy in our ecosystem. Alaska is special for many reasons, two of which are the beluga populations that live in Bristol Bay and Cook Inlet. Belugas are an indicator species. The presence of a healthy beluga whale population is the sign of a healthy ecosystem. While Bristol Bay's beluga population is thriving, thanks to the nearly pristine ecosystem in which it lives, Cook Inlet belugas have fared much worse. The fragile 279 whale population was listed as endangered in 2008 and has declined steadily ever since. Now, the fates of both groups are tied to Pebble Mine, a proposed gold and copper mine at the headwaters of the Bristol Bay watershed. Pebble Mine is definitely one of the major threats that we have out here right now, and it's probably the scariest to us because it's potentially the largest open pit mine that North America has ever seen. It's a proposed open pit metallic sulfide mine. As they're currently proposing it, it would be over a mile and a half wide and potentially up to three miles wide once they expand to the headwaters of the Bristol Bay watershed, which is where all of the salmon of all of the lakes and rivers and streams, they meet at this one really unique sensitive spot up above Lake Iliamna. It's a pretty massive project and requires some pretty intense infrastructure, 230 megawatt power plant, which is enough to light the city of Fairbanks and multi hundred mile natural gas pipeline running underground and under Cook Inlet. Huge mineral deposit that would have unacceptable adverse impacts to the natural environment and the cultural environment here in Bristol Bay. It's hard to put this in a nutshell because there's so much that's dependent on. I get kind of choked up because it's tender. It looks strong, but the footprint that Pebble would put out there, it could have a huge impact. They want us to believe that they are going to be extremely safe, they're going to be extremely cautious, but history has shown us that these open pit mines fail time and time again. This weekend, there was a massive spill of the tailings pond at the Mount Polly Copper and Gold Mine. Government officials said Sunday three million gallons spilled into the Animas River. The acid leak from a copper sulfide mine destroyed everything in its path. What did they say when, when they built these other mines to the people, you know, the areas that they ruined in, in different parts of the mining industries? They probably came and told them that, you know, your waters will never be contaminated. It might take 10 years or it might take 20 years or even 30 years, but eventually something is gonna happen to contaminate the water. My concern has been the tailing of the pebble mine. Iliamna is on a major earthquake fault. All that stuff could seep, you know, leak out. Because it's connected to water, water flows all over the face of the earth. So a mistake there will carry downstream and end up in Bristol Bay and even further, I mean, the ocean. 
While the belugas in Bristol Bay would be threatened by contaminated water and a possible catastrophic failure of the mine, Cook Inlet belugas would be threatened by the infrastructure planned for their critical habitat. A new port and natural gas pipeline in Cook Inlet would cause increased shipping, underwater noise from construction and marine traffic, and potential spills, making the water more dangerous than this fragile population of whales can afford. Water is the heart of Alaska's ecosystems. Clean water nurtures the food chain from the smallest insects to the largest mammals. To threaten Alaska's water is to threaten everything that relies upon it, perhaps none more notably than its salmon. Without salmon, the livelihoods and subsistence of tens of thousands of people would be devastated. Without salmon, the food chain would be irreparably damaged. Without salmon, there would be no Bristol Bay or Cook Inlet Belugas. I don't know how familiar people are with copper, but it's a copper mine, and copper is like lethal for salmon scent and for smelling and for their honing device that brings them back home. So it could pollute and interrupt salmon streams in a way that we've never seen. It's going to affect our subsistence. It's going to affect our ability to market our salmon because the markets are going to disappear overnight if there's a major spill. And there goes our gold mine, salmon. What impact is that going to have on our beluga that lives off of the smolt and the salmon? What are they going to eat once that's gone? And the bears that go up to Katmai, if they're no longer able to eat the healthy protein of a salmon, what's going to happen to them? It's all going to fall apart because they, they depend on each other and thrive off each other. It's mind-blowing that they would take the chance. It's all about greed. and It's all about how many dollars can, can they make off a project like that. Forget about the indigenous people that live there and the other people that live there. Forget about the habitat and destroy it. And they will destroy it. The potentially devastating impacts of Pebble Mine are an existential threat to these beluga whales. For Cook Inlet's endangered belugas to stand a chance at recovery, and for Bristol Bay's belugas to remain strong, the protection of their habitat and food sources must outweigh the empty promise of Pebble Mine. We should all do our part to ensure that what we have is sustainable. We know so little about the Cucumet Beluga Whale. If we want to see this population remain part of our ecosystem for years to come, we need to take a step back. Otherwise, we're going to see the demise of this population just like we've wiped out populations across the globe. So we have a lot at risk. 